Hey there CNCers! Everyone knows that rabbits lay eggs right around the beginning of April each year, so I'm going to show you how to make wooden eggs on the Vortex. Let's hop to it! using our Vortex for this project and if you want to know more about it I've got the product linked in the description below. As Easter is coming up I was thinking that you know simple wooden eggs would be a really cool decor piece around the house during Easter. But then I got inspired to make the wooden eggs look like they were carved the way a kid or let's be honest I would have painted actual eggs back in the day. So this is what I did. I've got my 3D egg model imported with tabs in place already. I've included that model in the shared files linked below to help you get cracking. If you're not sure how I got to this point, uh, check out our Vortex videos linked right up here to help get you up to speed. I added a 3D finishing toolpath to get the party started after importing and adding tabs. I'm using our quarter inch tapered ball nose bit to carve the finishing path. I've got it linked in the description below. I like to experiment. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop. They're just so over easy. <laughs> I like to experiment and try new things and this project was no different. I started drawing some wavy lines just like my kids used to paint when they were younger. I didn't know which bit or toolpath was going to work so I started with a profile toolpath with a v-bit assigned to it just to see what result it gave me. Knowing this was a rotary project I had to tinker with the overlap to make sure that the transition was fairly clean between those lines. You'll have to do this for most vectors that wrap around on rotary projects. Then I just kind of repeated the process and changed up some variables. I copied some vectors, made a pocket, added a pocket toolpath, previewed, and tinkered again. Then I added some dots, circles I guess, and assigned them to a v-carve toolpath to see what I would get. I used a 90 degree v-bit for these dots, but you could use any v-bit to experiment. The final result looks something like this, give or take. I may have continued tweaking after I recorded, it's kind of a bad habit of mine. Once I was done tweaking, I saved my toolpaths and it was time to carve. That same video I mentioned in the beginning covers rotary surfacing for the Vortex. If you're not familiar with it, check it out right here. You may have noticed during that montage that there was one egg that looked a little different than the others. Okay, a lot different. One of these things is not like the other. If you are wondering how I added this dragon-esque look to the egg, drop us a comment below and I will be sure to let you know just how I did it. That's it. No goofy rabbit eared glasses this year, just some super fancy looking wooden eggs. Hopefully watching this video leaves you feeling inspired to get out there and experiment and try new things. All horrible puns aside, there was a lot of tinkering and tweaking and experimenting with this project, so you know, expect mistakes and go and have some fun with it. That is what it's all about. Wondering what the next CNC project is going to be? Stay tuned and you will find out. Until the next one, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate every one of you who tunes in. We'll see you around the CNC.